everybody. To himself, mostly. I'm back. Well, except for one more the time tonight. Because again, a lot of people cut. do think like I think. And some dude at this one dude's comments was all going like proud and I love Teen Titans, yo, so much. I like to you know, I got a little angry. Because this dude is just saying, you know, well, he feels about it. Hell. If I, trust me, none of you shoot me down when I say I don't like something because I was, you know, I was telling you I don't like it. So, Mr. Max reigns, and this is like a year ago comic, but comment, but still. This is the reason, people, I hate people like this guy. This person's only trying to say his opinion on the show, which, again, like, again, I really don't like Teen Titans Go. If there was, a, if there was a choice to save one Teen Titans Go series, and it was the original, or Teen, or Teen Titans Go, I would save the original, and the other one would die in a fire that I caused, because... So, you know, but I like how this person's like, get a fucking knife, fucking bitch, get a fucking knife. Hey, dude, let's see how many subscribers you have. Oh, none? None? You don't have any? See, this, this dude right here, this dude right here, t is just telling it as it is. At least he has subscribers, he has like... 57 that's pretty good you know nowadays us youtubers have to really try hard to get people to get people's attention you know we gotta press and I hate how this person you know just told it as it is and this one person said, get a knife see that's the problem I have with certain youtubers because they want to be all like your life because you're talking about something that no one cares about. I'll be like, look at the likes. Some people did care about it. Why are you just sitting there saying this saying this man doesn't have a right to talk about it? Because to me, Teen Titans is what happens when when a fan really wanted something and we didn't know what we were getting. You know. You know, and you know, after a while we you know, at, at first we said, okay, it's fun, it's a little harm, it's harmless fun. But then it got to the point where it just got insulting. And whether you all like, and whether you all see what others, others and myself see, that's, irre that's irrelevant. But we see it like, it's not a good show. In terms of comedy, it is not a good show. There's a reason why the Mysterious Mr. Enter calls them Toddler Titans. Because they don't even act like teens. They act like little kids. Freaking, and Mr. You know, watch Miss, Mysterious Mr. Enter's videos about Teen Titans Go. Me and him have the basically the same opinion. And I, it, it, it makes me cringe every day when I hear, oh, Shining Boom is the, Shining Boom is the badge. Like, some of you don't, like so, you don't like Sonic Boom? It just makes me. It just irritates me how you say that's the bad one and Teen Titans Go is. See, I mean, I understand it's a bit of loud, random. But even both of those freaking things had freaking had something, you know, and those were random as they could get. They don't misdirect the audience. They they show the audience what they what they think the audience wants to see not really mis not misdirecting them at all but showing them what th what is expected from a low random show now let me sh now let me show you now with no now Certain Sonic characters, they don't, they didn't change their personalities for Boom, except for Amy, which I enjoy because God dang, I, I gotta be serious with you guys. Honestly, I don't like 
I didn't like Amy's earlier portrayal in in the games because it just she was a fangirl first and foremost and basically didn't care about anybody else and you guys could be like oh now we cared about Grim no 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 she been, remember in Sonic Heroes she basically lied to to freaking uh so, to freaking Cream and Big saying you know we'll find Froggy and Chagall because we think freaking Sonic has it and they didn't have it but they were still determined to chase after Sonic but hey, that's just how I feel about Amy. Sonic Booming, on the other hand, she's not a complete tool. She has goals. She has wants. She has goals that she wants to achieve. And it doesn't all, it doesn't focus in on Sonic. And I like that. I like that she has her own mind. She doesn't she's not so she's not dependent on Sonic. I like that. Even the comics, where Amy started as a fangirl of Sonic, even then she kind of has that there, but she knows that other stuff is important. You know? I don't know why I started talking about Amy un under Teen Titans. But, see, but I was actually just trying to say that personality changes for certain characters in a comedy show is typical. But when, but when they're really, really, really insulting, like, like Cyborg and Beast Boy, it just shows me, ugh. Or freaking Robin, Robin, they 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 lobotomized Robin. I'm sorry, they were they lobotomized him, man. Okay, like I remember the episode where Robin wanted to go on a date with Starfire and tied up Speedy. Yes, yes, Robin would be a little bit mad, mad. I ain't gonna lie. But he wouldn't like tie up Speedy just so he could date Starfire. Like the kids say, Robin wouldn't be that thirsty. But anyways, God, I feel old. Anyways, so it's just like it's just like um, just like I said, because Robin, you know, we did like Starfire, but. You know, he was he was a guy that always worked and worked and worked because he always had to catch Slade. He always had to prove that he was a he he was a capable hero. You know, he wanted to show people that he didn't need Batman. And yes, that is the reason why they don't men that's the reason why he never really mentioned Batman, because he wanted to prove on his own that he could be a capable hero and even better a leader. But this Robin is just annoying, stupid, and a little bit creeperish. But hey, hey, I'm just a fan that knows freaking how Teen how Teen Titans go. I've read the comics. I know I know these characters from the old series. I love these characters from the old series. And I'm not telling I'm not telling you to upfront hate Teen Titans Go. But you guys gotta understand where some of us are coming from. You know, before you start saying, you know, we need to get alive and why do we care it's a kid show. You need to understand why we don't like this. And trust me, Teen Titans Go has fun episodes every now and again. You know, like all the shipping ones. Those I actually enjoy because... <laughs> Because some shippers get what they want, and that's good. But everything else is just insulting or irritating, or leaves me in leaves me when the episode's over. Just makes me wanna just drop a a fuck ton of f bombs, people. That's how bad it is, from my opinion. And people, other people think think like I do. It's not just me. It's not just me. It's not just him. Everybody, half, half of the people that, half of the original, half of the whole fan base don't, don't like this show. Others will give it a chance, but the most of us that try to watch this and try to enjoy it, we just see it for what it is. And yes, it's all subjective, but it's how we all, it, you know, if you like it, cool, but if, you know, we don't like it, you know, if all of us don't like it, respect it. 
You don't have to agree with it, but you had to respect our opinion. And I know I'm asking for a lot because it, you know, people on the internet act, you know, people on the internet act like opinions. What are those? We don't know anything about those. We just hate you because you're talking about a show. Me, 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 me. All I'm saying, people, it's just you need to think about some of the stuff that goes on. Yeah. Because we, you know, if we, you know, my, even my, even people that subscribe to me know, if I'm going to, if I don't like something, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it on this channel, whether some people like it or not. If it's, if it's the truth of what I just feel, it's going to be said. And that's what you guys need to understand with certain other people that rant on the shows you like. If we feel that something is bad, we are going to talk about it. It is not, you guys can't be like deterring us and making a little half-baked insult at us to make us stop. It's going to still happen because that is just how we feel. You can't just sit here and tell us that we shouldn't think that way. You need to understand this is how it is. You know, and some of you, some of you guys want to be like, Ah, the kid show budget, you need to calm down. Dudes, I watch Let's Get Serious, and that, that hurt. That hurt. It, it not only made a very stupid episode, but it mocked one of the, in my opinion, one of the good shows that came out of DC Nation. One I wish that had an actual third season, because it wasn't that bad. But no, no, we get stuck with Teen Titans Go. But where did that man goes? And we have this left. The only thing left. And this sucks. But oh well. You know, you kids will eat it up. And I ain't saying that, you know, you ain't, you're ain't you wrong for liking this. But respect the people who don't like it. You know, respect their, opi respect their opinion even if you don't like it. And I'm not saying you can't say anything. But think of something better than just get a life. Okay? A lot of us do have lives. I mean, I always say, I always hated that, I always hated that little, I always hated that, uh, one phrase, because it's like, we do have lives, people, it's just the fact of the matter is we can't talk about a video, we can't talk about something we don't like on YouTube just because you guys say you don't like. Okay, if you, if you, if you're spending every waking hour messing, you know, trolling us, messing, messing with us, who really needs to get a life? Us or you? You know, think about that. Some of you trolls chew on that. Chew on that for a minute. I'm gonna let this guy finish. Kinda tells her that he does like her in a way, and how they're uh, in the beginning of the episode they're playing around for a bit, where Cyborg taunts him, and and to think into saying that she's his girlfriend. But anyway, all right, so. Speedy beats him to the punch of taking her out on a date. So that makes Robin jealous. Alright. And enough, it but... gets a little bit disturbing because Robin has a little voice in his head and it, it it's it, it's disturbing to me a little bit. It, it's disturbing. It's really, really disturbing. Me and Ani just sat there, watched it, and was like, what the fuck? Are, what the fuck is happening? Talk about a weird climax. She dates the voice in his head. Now, and then that raised a whole bunch of different questions. Was the and that raised a whole bunch of different questions. Well, Robin really do all these like, ridiculous things that get um, Speedy out of the day with Starfire. Really, I mean, he freaking literally kidnaps Speedy and takes his place. I mean. Robin wouldn't resort to that much tactics. I mean, in one episode, Betroft, or the old, I believe that's the name of the episode, in the old series, he just tells Starfire that um, it's not that good of a relationship. And also, he was just jealous flat out, but he didn't try to assassinate the other guy or... Yes! Him he did that too! I was all, I was 
mad at that too, because yeah, I will not lie that freaking that Robin would get jealous in the old series. That will never change. That never changed. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say he'd resort to uh, assassinating somebody or kidnapping somebody, which he did. And the one thing I didn't like about Teen Titans when they brought up Batman, that Robin is afraid of Batman. I mean, he'd be afraid of disappointing him, but he wouldn't be technically all afraid of him. The whole point of Teen Titans was him striking out on his own with his own team. I don't feel like he'd be afraid of him. He'd be afraid of disappointing him. That's the only afraid. That's the only fear that he'd actually have. But even the, even then, he still kind of would want to be his own superhero, and that's why he. That's why the Teen Titans were created. And then some. Then some of you. Then some of you. Some of you Teen Titans fans want to. Some of you Teen Titans golf fans want to freaking talk to me about that kind of thing. Read the comics, kids. You'll learn a lot from reading the comics. I will, s I will see you all later. I'm Bugsy. I'm Bugsy, your chaotic jester, a.k.a. the Fat Brad Basher, and I'll see you later.